And without DJ LeMayhew after he went on the injured list this afternoon due to the sprained left thumb he suffered on Saturday. He became the third notable hitter placed on the injured list by the Yankees in the span of eight days, joining Giancarlo Stanton and Aaron Judge. A pitcher is on his way back. Aroldis Chapman has recovered from coronavirus and will be activated tomorrow. Earlier today, Judge spoke to the media, including our Chris Sheeran. First and foremost, uh, just how are you feeling from the time this first started uh, bothering you to now? Can you give us a little difference between those two times? Uh, feeling great, Chris, to be honest. Um, started feeling just tight in Tampa, you know, playing the doubleheader on the turf and then playing the next uh, game on the turf. You know, it's usually, you know, what I feel going there. It's usually beats up your legs playing on that turf. So I just felt a little tight and then, you know, just kind of tried to maintain it, you know, playing against the Braves and, um, you know, that kind of pulled me out. But I, I feel good right now. I feel 100%. You know, that's why I was trying to beg him to give me a couple of days, you know, so I'd, I'd be ready tomorrow. But uh, it is what it is. I think they're just kind of looking out for me, you know, so it doesn't get worse because, you know, Cavs um, may start mild, but if you push them, they may, you know, turn into a grade one or grade two. Aaron said that you were going to do some lower body workout and get treatment leading to baseball activities tomorrow, Monday. Is, is that still the plan for you? Yeah, yeah, swinging a bat. I kind of told him, I said, you know, I'm good to go, guys. And, you know, but if we must, I'll take the weekend off from picking up a bat and then pick it up on Monday. And I got some running and stuff to do later today. But uh, like the baseball throwing and hitting, uh, we kind of want to get through the hurdles of, you know, some movement stuff, some running stuff before we picked up a bat again. When, do you think you'll know when you'll pick up a bat again? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. you will tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Aaron. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Who else has a question for Aaron? Dan Martin, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, just uh, wondering, how, you know, obviously it's frustrating any year to be hurt, but given the uh, state of this season and how abbreviated it is, does that make it more difficult to deal with this time off? Um, yeah, any time off is is not good you know that's why i was begging for um just a couple days you know not really 10 days i, didn't, I don't need 10 days to be feeling good i already feel 100 percent now so um yeah it, it's tough tough being away especially now with, with g out and dj out um it makes it tough but it's all precautionary stuff and we'll be back there you know on saturday do you you feel like you could play in a game right now yeah yeah thanks Aaron. you're welcome Sweeney Murdy, go ahead. You have the next question. Please unmute. Hey, Aaron, when it started to bother you, like, what was it exactly you were feeling? And what, even if you could have played with it, what exactly does it keep you from doing? And given that it's your, your back leg, how does that affect your swing, running, all those things? Yeah, I just started feeling it in Tampa, you know, playing double headers and playing on that turf um, and cleats kind of messes with your calves, knees, quads, everything, you know, so just... I just remember the, especially the last game there, you know, I was trying to roll out my calves. It's just, it just feels like a tight feeling, like the muscles just a little tight. Um, that's the first time, you know, playing on the turf, you know, all year. So, um, yeah, just, just felt tight and, you know, related to swing or, you know, baseball activity, I think it's just a running motion, you know, it just kind of inhibits, you know, that quick burst. Because a lot of your, you know, explosion comes from your, you know, basically your calves from your, you know, that's where a lot of explosions come from. So. Um, I guess it just kind of slows you down a little bit, but I'm, I'm feeling good. So it's just uh, take a couple of days to make sure it's still 100%. I mean, I mean, it's given the quick ramp up of summer camp, how fast that went, how quick you had to get into action. You're convinced that this is simply a product of playing on that turf and nothing else? Yeah, no, I've been healthy and been feeling great. It was the best I've felt in a while, you know, so that's why I'm pretty frustrated, you know, being put on the, the IL for something that's just uh, – a couple day thing, but you know, just working with the Yankee staff and talking to other doctors, it's just more precautionary and probably best overall to miss, you know, one week than to kind of push through it and eventually, you know, miss three to four weeks. So, God bless you, whoever that was. Um, just one, one more thing, you, you don't have to go back to Tampa this year, but in your mind, what is the best way to manage if you have games on the turf? If there's a playoff series on that turf. How do you? How would you manage that? I uh, just wore tennis shoes on the turf for defense, and then switching the cleats, uh, hitting. I've talked to a couple of players that played there, and they, that's what a lot of guys do: um, is 
they just wore tennis shoes when they're playing defense on that turf, you know, because it's probably the best way to do it, best way to save your legs. And then when you come up to hit, you know, you just switch into cleats uh, for the batter's box. So, you know, kind of talking with some guys about that kind of cleared it up for me and kind of gave me some good answers, some stuff to try out. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Joe Sherman, you can unmute. You have the next question. Um, Aaron, you mentioned, I think, three times uh, that you were frustrated and you lobbied. Who did you lobby? to try to stay off of the IL? And are you upset at the organization that you are on the IL? It was just something going back and forth with Boone, our doctors, our trainers. Um, but no, I wouldn't say I'm frustrated with the organization. You know, this is kind of shows how much the organization, I guess, you know, cares for me and looks out for my well-being is, you know, not, they don't want me to go out there and push it, you know, so they're I can't be frustrated with this organization. You know, it's just I'm frustrated with, you know, myself not being out there. But, um, yeah, it's part of it. They're just kind of looking out for me and, you know, trying to, you know, just what's best for me, I guess. All right. We can take another from Bradford Davis. Hey, uh, I think I just go back to the tennis shoe uh, thing you mentioned. Um, what does that do for preserving a body like on turf versus, you know, just regular grass? Uh, well, with cleats, you know, with tennis shoes, you don't have the nine spikes on the bottom of your feet kind of like pinpointing, you know, the bottom of your feet. So wearing tennis shoes on turf, um, it's, it's just easier on your body, easier on your knees, you know, because you don't have all that body weight going down into just nine little spikes. Uh, but for grass, grass kind of gives a little bit more. It absorbs some of that shock. So it's not, um, it's just a little different from turf. I don't know the exact you know, science behind it, but um, that's just what I've heard from other guys that played the game and kind of go with it. Thank you. And then, um, you know, I see you rocking the uh, Jackie Robinson, uh, I think it's Root of, Root of Flight t-shirt, right? Um, very cool. Um, obviously today is the, you know, big centennial celebration. Um, you know, what? Uh, I guess two questions on that. What was your first, I guess, sort of encounter with, you know, um, learning about the Negro Leagues? And second, you know, um, how would you recommend fans of young players who want to learn more about this really important part of history, black history, you know, um, I guess, dive in? I, I guess the, the big thing is going to the museum in Kansas City. You know, that'd, that'd be the first thing I'd recommend to anybody, you know, wanting to learn about the Negro Leagues and what, you know, those guys went through and the history of the game and the great players that we had. Uh, and that's something that's pretty special you know CC every time we went to Kansas City CC would always take a couple guys out there and uh, just check it out you know that was a pretty special moment um, but yeah just I think I think that'd be the main thing you know it's just a little bit of research and to learn about it 